What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, first of all, let me talk about this in the beginning because y'all know I need y'all to see my TikTok videos. And unfortunately, I can't just put the title as that because a lot of y'all wonder why I only talk about Krishan. Well, if you holler at YouTube, let them know that I want to talk about other stuff. All right. So anyway, we're going to start off with uh, Hot Tea Hot Chocolate. Uh, Krishan tweeted today, free Krishan. I don't know who got her phone. I don't know what's going on, but free Krishan. Somebody uh, on Krishan's phone, this is the second tweet. They said, been following uh, hashtag Solana, and I know my project finna be the biggest one yet, apparently. So whoever has her phone is out here tweeting. I don't know if they told her to tweet it, uh, or excuse me, if she told them to tweet it or what's going on, but I do know that's where we are, Okay. That's the update I got for y'all. Nothing else. Let's get into this plumber man. Now, this guy uh, recently did a balloon pop um, episode or whatever. And matter of fact, I need to share with y'all the episode. Not the full episode, but at least a clip. But to be honest, it's so all over the place. I might have to insert that later. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to go ahead and act, react to this girl's version. So this is apparently the ex-girlfriend of the balloon popper buff plumber dude. Okay. And she got a story to tell and we about to listen to it because we are here for the mess. All right. Let's get into it. All right, now that we opened the can of worms, let's go ahead and talk about part one of Watch Who the Fuck You Date. So his name is Aaron. Aaron okay. is my ex. We dated okay. for a few months and it didn't last very long. And let me tell you why. He is like insane. It's like he has that little person talking to him in the corner of his shoulder at all times. Like he's making up constant stories in his head about like that I'm cheating on him, that he's got to watch his back, that I have guys in my apartment at all times. And that I'm cheating while I'm at work. When I work in a clinic full of women, by the way. Mm. So let's take it back to, to the beginning. So again, we met. I lived in Arizona. He lived in New Mexico. And he said, oh, I have a oh. friend that lives in Arizona. I was actually just there. I was like, oh, dang. Well, whenever you're down here again, let's grab dinner or whatever. He's like, all right. He ended up coming. And his plan was to end up moving to Arizona anyway with his friend, right? Mm -hmm. He ended up at my house so much anyway that I was just kind of like, mm, I mean, you kind of already live here. His clothes was there, everything. So I was like, fuck it. Just, you know, that was my mistake. Uh -huh. So uh, my mom ends up making dinners for us all the time. We're Mexican. We make huge dinners. And the first time he went, he met the family and everything was cool. But when we left, my mom called me. and She said, are you OK? And I said, what do you mean? Am I OK? She said, well, I see something in his eye like he wants to hurt you or like he mm. wants to control you. I don't know how to tell you because I don't want you to think that I'm crazy, but I'm just telling you to be careful and really think about if this is the guy that you really want to be with. And I was like, well, I mean, it kind of is already in motion. You know, it's already happening. So then my mom invites us over for dinner again. I think it was the next day and we play Loteria and um, I, I, I don't know what that is. I guess he was just like, no, I don't want to go. Like he he started little by little, kind of not not like not wanting to be around my family. And I don't know if he noticed that my family didn't really like approve of him or whatever. I'm not too sure, but anyways, that was a red flag number one. It's kind of like he was already trying to distance me from my own family. You know, like mm. the only protection that I have had is from my family, and he was trying to move me away so when I first started talking to him I was talking to other people as and I had a lot of guy friends and I don't hang out with too many girls because sometimes it can get overwhelming and a lot of drama can start mm -hmm. so they would still text my phone and um of course I talked to somebody else before I met him too it kind of just ended up going in the direction with Aaron and so they would text my phone and he would check my phone every few hours Every time a vibration would go off, every time I'd get a notification, he's looking. So he was just obsessed. And I mean, like he wants to like literally super insecure, which explained the brolicness. Really do something to me. I don't know what was going on. It's just that look in his eyes. And you guys know, because you have seen that look in the pop, the balloon game. 
Like this video mm. that went viral. I gotta watch this video. So um, he starts Let's checking see. my phone every few hours. Oh, he starts oh, to track oh. my location. I gave him my location on my phone because I was like, I have nothing to hide, right? Oh. And I'm always either at work with him at home or with my family. So go ahead and go to part two. All right, now that we opened the can Wait. of worms, let's- pa Part two. All right, welcome back to part two of watching- Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm finding a video. I'm, I'm finding a video. Your date. We're talking about Aaron, the guy that went viral on Pop the Balloon Game. So anyways, he starts to distance me from my family. He starts to track me. I give him my location because I had nothing to hide. Every time I would walk by the window, my, my location would show that I was outside. So he'd call me like, what are you doing outside? Who are you messing with at work? Why aren't you working? Like that controlling, right? Then mm -hmm. he starts doing pop-ups at my job and it got so bad because he would show up in his work truck while he's supposed to be at work. And Not popping up and you, you, you so into being a plumber. We're going to get into that too, because he's really into this plumber thing. He like, he like, I work my ass off to be a plumber and all of this. And you, you supposed to be at work, but you over here popping up at, uh, at my job and at my house. At my job, that my oh. supervisor had to keep watching me. We had to basically oh, like crazy. everybody had to walk me to my car after work to make sure that I made it. And the girls would text me, Where is this "Hey, did you make it?" Again, it's this a clinic full of girls. So that was a red flag number two. And then one time I walked outside yeah. to the cafeteria and he calls me and he's like, "How did I know you were outside?" So that in my head was like, mm, "Circles are already turning." Uh -huh. I go to my car to see if he put a tracker because he is capable of doing some shit oh, like that. And I couldn't find anything. And then he pops up at my job like, don't break up with me. Don't do this. Like, I'll change. I thought I was going to catch you doing something. And I was like, how did you know I was outside, right? He mm. said, I put my extra phone tracking you in your car and I left it on record because I was expecting to record you doing something as in cheating on me or... What? Nah, too much work. For what? <laughs> Baby, if I don't trust you like that, ain't no need. What are we doing? No. Like messing around in your car and I was three, like... Three, three, three in the jet. I was done. After that, I was completely done. I said, get your stuff, get out of my house, and come bring me my key. And he was like, no, I'm going to change. Whatever. I went home. He was still there. He was like, let's try to work it out. I was like, mm. You know, he already lives with me. He moved here, like whatever. And that, and then it was going, I was going to do it so bad. And then I, he went to go get coffee for me or something from Starbucks. And he was like, something's wrong with your car. And I was like, what do you mean something's wrong with my car? He's like, yeah, it started to act weird. And I was like, okay, hold on right there. My car, I have a 2019 Dodge Challenger. It's been perfectly fine. I kept up with the oil. Nah, he I don't understand. All of a sudden, you're driving it and something's wrong with it. Go to part three. What? All right, welcome back to part two. Part three, and this is the last part that I'm going to post about Aaron, the buff guy from Pop the Balloon Game, and watch who the fuck you date. So, um... He was like, yeah, your car's acting funny. I was like, no. At that point, I was like, I already get out of my house. Like, I don't want you here. You ain't paid one bill. You put $20 a light one time. And maybe you spent like $30 on groceries because I was going to cook dinner one time. But my mama always told me, do not allow a man to come into your home and pay any bills because then he's going to feel like he has the right to either stay there mm -hmm. or like, oh, I paid the rent. I live here too. But in our mm -hmm. reality, everything that I, that I had gotten was mine and I didn't allow him any part of that. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, all right, get out, whatever. He leaves. Um, he still tried to contact me. I was like, no, get out. I grabbed my car. I went to my mom's house because I didn't want him to try to come back and to try to convince me. And um, that's what brings to like my mind all the time. Like you guys tell people in abusive relationships all the time, like you need to leave, you need to leave. Thinking that it's easy for these women to leave. And it's not like, yeah, they've they've gotten hurt or whatever, but these women are completely head over heels in love with these men so it's not easy to mm. leave so i did what i thought was best so i went to my mom's house right after him and he's calling me like dang you're already at somebody else's house you're already cheating on me Man, i was like whatever hell no. and on my way to my mom's i start to feel that my car is starting to shake and i'm like dang like what is it i took it to two different mechanics that were like it was the spark plugs the ignition coils i fixed that and then i went to another mechanic because it started to shake again and supposedly it was the same thing. They fixed that again. Not you out here damaging my car. And so I went to a third mechanic and he's like, I think they might have put sugar in your gas tank. But 
I would need to take out the gas tank to make sure. And I was like, no, I don't think he would be capable of doing something like that, whatever. So I can find what was wrong with it. At this point, I had moved out already because I was so scared. My mom had let me borrow money because I needed to move out before my lease was up. So he didn't know where I lived. I moved apartments. So at this point, I went and got a new car. I went to the dealership and I got a new car. I changed my car. And when I asked him, hey, did you ever find out what was wrong with my Challenger? He said, yes, there was sugar in the gas tank. Man. So this man that claims... I would have rather gotten a new car, too, than you having to take out a full a, a whole gas tank. That's number one. You know they was going to charge her a grip and 17 legs for that. Um, so, no, I don't want to do that. I would have got a new car, too. Now, she had to get a whole new car, change her location, everything for this nigga. We're going to... By this time, y'all would have seen... No, you know what? I'm going to do this afterwards. I'm going to show y'all the video afterwards. So y'all get the gist of who he is. Then we're going to react to who he is. To be very godly and studies the Bible and, you know, practices this religion. Put sugar in my gas tank. Tracked my car. Put a phone to record me in my car. And I would do things like say everything he needed to hear. Like, yeah, I cheated on you. Like because i was so scared of him being crazy like this guy has a record you guys don't know that you guys really mm. need to be careful who you make famous on this app i don't want to say anything else because i feel like i already opened up a big can of worms if you guys have any questions i'll, I'll answer them but i don't want to make this any more parts i mean you don't already went too hard oh, y'all keep far, asking friend. me what uh -oh. Uh -oh. four of dating the pop the balloon game buff guy I'm just going to answer some questions that you guys have been asking in my chat that I haven't had a chance to answer because I actually work a full-time job and I'm a mom. That goes with question number one. Did you lose custody of your kids? No. Their dad and I share 50-50 custody. He likes to talk shit because I don't have full custody. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but their dad is an active father and I'm an active mother, so we share 50-50 like we should. It makes sense to me. Number two. He, his sign is a cancer. I know you guys have been asking. Oh, I, I, I Number knew Number three, I had nothing to do with him losing his job. Just because he scooped really low into a petty level and posted my kids on his TikTok and posted my phone number on his TikTok after I messaged him saying, do not involve my kids and take it down. He went and posted the video. My side of the story went viral, but I am not the only one. I just had the platform to tell my story, but there is at least six other girls with mm. the same exact story. So I had nothing to do with it. Well, Number four, check. just because you're going to scoop low, I'm not going to scoop lower. Four. Okay, you know, at this point, she probably over it. All right, so let's go to the balloon, dude, so we can talk about this. Now I can show y'all what's going on. All right. Balloon dude. Oh, shit. This is his part, because apparently they have a, a bunch of contestants or whatever. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I'll have you hold this. All right, if we can have your name. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga just <laughs> y'all the man just walked out <laughs> <I don't... laughs> hello okay. welcome <laughs> i'll have you hold this all right if we can have your name i uh, hate your shoes uh my name is aaron aaron how old yes, are you yeah i'm 29 29 okay yes. and what do you do uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And now, what do you look he for? He was so happy about that. And don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with a plumber, baby. If I need it, I got to call somebody. It, it, it would have. I don't want to call him, but it would have to be somebody. So I, I ain't saying nothing bad about being a plumber, but he really is happy about that. For a woman. Um, I look like I look for a woman that's not promiscuous, and um has a career going for herself. 
Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous. <laughs> oh, he insecure. So, that definitely seconds her story. He think everybody's sneaky. So, being promiscuous, he think all women just out here just being sneaky and shit. And that's one of his biggest red flags. Not cleanly. Um, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you pop I see that look she talking about. Your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon property. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. And he rude. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead. And... All right. We got to pop over here. <laughs> All right. We can have your we name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay. And why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made uh, didn't really. I like a more Ow. humble person, not someone that responds so defensive ish. Yeah, that's really it. Very different. Look at his face. I, yeah. I didn't really necessarily like that's how you fine. Responded. Hey, I could just, yeah. all I can do is be honest. I mean, you know? yeah, be honest. I be your authentic self. To, that's okay. To, to, to find a match sure. that wasn't matching. To that's find all. a match that wasn't matching, okay? okay. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Sure. And I was, um, she's someone that's your type? Um, she all right, you know. Mm -hmm. You're not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No disrespect. You know, but if I seen you in public, I wouldn't reach out totally to Totally fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Y'all see, he he so he so messed up about the balloons being popped. And we did get a pop balloon over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lex and I'm 23. And I popped my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful. Like how you like, I don't know, arrogant a little bit. Yes. Yeah, just that. Well, voice in my opinion is not arrogant, you know. She asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know, uh, it's contrary to the truth. So His arm is fucking huge. <laughs> like his arm, bro, it, that arm is great. He's dressed like a plumber, bro. <laughs> so many things is going through my mind. I'm sorry, but anyway. That's all I can do is just state what I oh, see. I don't, God. that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. Also, um, what I have to say is it's not what you say. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But one thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am of course. to fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. You know, cool. the one that is it, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for surely, yes. Respectful. Okay. All right. Oh, now we don't have an ad. Ain't this about a wrong channel? Oh, my God. Uh. Oh, wait. That's the girl that went off on him. Okay. Of course. That's all I can do is just state what I see. I don't as well yeah this is what i have to say but what is liking you know i'm just gonna tell it how it is you know for surely yes respectful okay all right your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon brianna 20 now that look is crazy he is looking down what why six my eyes are are up here baby are you looking at the tattoo? no i I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms you know Women I deal with, they don't have hair on their Don't arms. do too much. Hey, I'm just women I deal with. Just being honest, don't do queen, too much. You know, I I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts? You just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes. What it is. No, I was, I was looking at the hair out. on your Anyways, arms. Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. He's a fraud. Question. Yes. Um. He's a fraud. Um. Yeah. He's acting. Look at this. He's an actor. I'm in hills and you ain't. 
that's when the real come. It's all enough. He's looking at the other girl. Yes. Um, he's looking at, he's trying to read yeah, the other girl's I'm, body language. In hills. Right here. Her and her. He's trying to see what they laughing at. He can't even focus on one thing because he's too focused on his insecurities. Hence is why his damn arm look like a bowling ball on the inside. Legs looking like pixie sticks. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> And you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much. Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. All right, that's so that's good. all good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. So <laughs> we do still have three unpop, but she looking like you gonna pop? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up. Look at look at look at it. He's trying to find a flaw to insult them. Popping. Oh my name is Jacqueline. Sorry, I'm 25. Ed. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay though, Queen. You look phenomenal though. Thank you. You know she ain't. He couldn't find a flaw. Fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to. My... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Oh well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look any way I want to. You know. But yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back though? She don't want it. Yeah, do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. You, you already been. I already let you know. I'm not interested. I wouldn't want to deal with him. I would have popped my balloon if I was everybody. Today, you got more hair on your arms than me, baby. But uh, anyways. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but how are you feeling, him? Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Okay. okay. <laughs> now he's trying to find a reason. All right, no problem. He so couldn't. We do. Then the fake shit come. Now he's trying to find another flaw. Still or find a flaw. Have uh, two balloons. He couldn't yes. find one. Do we still have two balloons? No. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being I guess arrogant mm -hmm. but to me I like my man that's not gonna sit in every girl's face and you know complimenting them you know mm -hmm. so I didn't find that offensive to me but when they started that what was going on I'm very like I don't, don't want to say I'm argumentative but I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's gonna always be a problem that was the only reason why I popped my balloon well you can't be argumentative, put that out in the universe and think a nigga ain't going to argue back. That's not even realistic. Because I was just like, dang. Maybe she's saying the way he's doing it. Um, But then with me, you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy just a little bit. And since you want to come at everybody over here, I'm going to get at you too. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that cute. You you need to relax. Uh, you stocky uh, as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, okay. but yeah. like you was you was really coming out like I didn't I didn't like it. I'm from the South and I can okay. handle like a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you, you probably got a roommate at home and it's just not giving. And a little dick. Let's not forget that part. Anymore. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate I live and property management. I live downtown. So what I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing with me. You say everybody not qualified. Tim, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. you wanted popped If I seen, I, that's fine. So that, what? That's that totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, man you can't out do here that. Right you can't do that let's though, baby. On. Yeah, let's in a real way. You can't do that though, Queen. All right. If he we probably can't pull the hundred thousand out of the bank. He ain't got nothing else to spend his money. You can have your name. He damn sure ain't spending it on the drip. Okay. Okay. Name so. and age. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And Esther. Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. Okay. Now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. What do you look for? I look What for are you looking for? A, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous. A woman that's going to be consistent. A woman that has a career and things going for herself, because I had the same thing going for myself, okay. you know, as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty, that's all, and some honesty. Do you believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God-fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what I identify is religion-wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time. 
you we know, can. if you choose to uh, leave here with me. Okay. Do you know the Bible says that love is kind? Yes, certainly. Are you here for love or are you here to just insult I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family, you know, <laughs> okay. that's why. Are you here for love or are you here to just insult everybody? I aspire to. She don't believe nothing he's saying. This one right here. Nothing. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. You're good? Sure, we're good. Oh, okay. All right. Any questions for her? No, not at all. Oh. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you He's surprised he pulled her. One kids. I do. You How old are you? She did that for the sake of the show. Hey, yeah. son. Huh? How old are you? I'm 29. How old are you? 23. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You okay. know, we might as well get up out of here right now. All right, well, let me let, let's yeah. step on over here. Let's step on. The step girls out. are disgusting. Play real quick for me. Step that okay. way. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, it seems like there's a little vibe here. So, is it going to be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So, yeah. Oh, and is it a yes for you it's for her? It's going to be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic. And God said save souls, so yeah. You can go on up. She being a real shady lady in a nice way. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank Everybody like, uh, why? <laughs> okay. Thank you for tuning in on this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you are in the U girl, um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, am I done? I'm probably not done though. I want to know because he posted something on his TikTok and his um. Instagram. Come on now. I done broke my down. Very handsome. Aaron. He posted something on his TikTok. Uh, I'm going to have to find it, but I'm going to go to his Instagram. Very underscore handsome. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's get to this. Uh, I just want to give y'all a quick update, man. So, hold on. Before we even do that, um, he lost his job. Weapon X tells all, oh, pop the balloon or fine. So, somebody done interviewed him. All right, well, in the meantime, in between time, let, let's listen to this video. But basically, he lost he his plumbing license, his job, or whatever. Do me a favor by tapping in. Uh, I just want to give y'all a quick update, man. I don't appreciate anybody thinking this is a hoax. You know, today is one of the worst days of my life, seriously. Being a plumber and getting my license was one of my biggest life accomplishments, especially um, with the lifestyle that I used to indulge in. You know, with that being stripped away from me, I still have responsibilities to take care of. And um, I certainly can and I am going to take care of them. My birthday, June 23rd on Sunday, man, we're going up in a section near you. So stay tuned for that. Um, the T-shirts is dropping. We're getting the sizes, pre-orders, everything ready. Um, I'm still trying to do humanitarian work for those that are asking me, you know, telling me, to start my own company. I wish I could. Um, I don't feel comfortable with doing it where I'm at. You know, I can't post my location, uh, my exact location where I'm at because of these videos blowing up. Now I got people approaching me left and right in the gyms and public and Walmart. Um, I just don't feel comfortable with that. And I used to indulge, like I told you on criminality. So um, I don't, I just don't want my location out there. So I don't think that's the best thing for me to do. Um, Criminality. I'm not worried about nobody trying to hurt me. If you think you're going to do something to me, I promise you got something coming. And um, moving forward, I don't know where I'm going to take this. You know, people are asking me to be a personal trainer. People are asking me to do content creating. I don't know, honestly, with all of this. Like, who knew you can lose a plumbing license? I just feel like he could be a plumber as a, um, what you call it? 
freelance. He can be a freelance plumber, but he he's saying he's scared of his location, the location part. But you don't have to promote that on Instagram. Like you, he could get on the app, and he would have to show his face. I, I just foolishness going on. This cloud chasing. You know, this has really affected me in a profound way. Um, I have to close my lease. I'm going to be moving out of state. You know, that's like $3,800. Uh, my birthday, I spent two grand on my fit. That's not even including the section, the bottles. I don't even believe that. You can't dress. Um, these t-shirt prints. I'm still doing humanitarian work. I'm about to go um, advocate with some at-risk youth uh, right now. And I'm about to go. Oh, no, I didn't. What happened to the um? What happened to the uh? The hundred thousand at risk youth, uh, right now, and I'm about to go meet up with a security team that we're trying to put together to assure my safety because I have been getting threats and um, it's just been it's been too it's just crazy and I know it's somebody close to me so once we figure out who's doing all of this and who's you know that will be addressed accordingly. But um, God bless y'all. It's a GoFundMe in my bio. The only reason why I'm putting a GoFundMe in my bio is because somebody in the comments stated that they would like to help. If you would like to help, you're not only helping me, but you're helping children as well. Um, when I go to this center and start advocating with them, if I could get, you know, their, if I could get permission from the parents to have them on on camera and speak about you know some of the things that we're doing and we've been doing and working on then i will certainly do that for you as well and i just appreciate everybody that's out there um advocating for me everybody that see gang don't have no money he just good body y'all good body He's, you know who i truly am um i really appreciate y'all appreciate all the positivity and those of y'all being negative you know Y'all are miserable. I literally sat here and watched. I got up at five o'clock in the morning and I went to sleep at midnight and I seen people on the same post, the same person going back and forth with every comment. Get a life, man. Y'all are <laughs> broke. That is why y'all stay broke. Get a life. Not saying that would have go find me. That's cool. Life. Find something to do with yourself. You just did me a favor by tapping in. Thank you very much. Well, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, I do see that the girls went live and he has a podcast, a uh, little interview. Y'all let me know if you're interested. I know y'all like these videos. Unfortunately, um, I I don't know if I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to put Krishan in the title. That's the only way y'all going to get the video. But uh, I'm not going to put it in the beginning. I'm going to put it in the middle. So we'll see how it go. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.